Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about episode 3 of The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon. As we've talked about the first two episodes, we're going to keep talking about this entire series because I really enjoy it and it seems like you guys are enjoying it too. So before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more Daryl Dixon videos. we got some more videos coming up this week. we got some movie reviews because there's 97 new releases coming up. So we're going to talk about all those, but make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified when new videos get posted here on the channel. Now, now, let's talk about some Daryl Dixon. This episode opens up with our group, uh, you know, coming up to this building and the nun being like, I think the nun's name is Isabella. I think, I think if I'm wrong, let me know down in the comments. I'm trying to learn their names. I think it's Isabella. And, uh, you know, kind of, she's like, hey, I know this guy that might be able to help us out, Daryl. So her and Daryl go in while the other two, Laurenta and the other nun, wait outside. And uh, when they get in there, they kind of meet this crazy, wacky guy named Terry. And it must just be a thing named Terry, because I have a crazy, whacked-out dude named Terry in my life as well. So, uh, and, you know, he's like, I, I can help. He's like, I got something to show you. I got something to show you. Come follow me. And they're like, okay. And, uh, you know, we hear we start hearing some music, and it's like, what is, what is going on here? And then it's revealed that this Terry guy has, like, a whole orchestra of zombies playing instruments like he's got like trombones trumpets like stuck down at walker's throats and stuff so it's like letting the air out he's got some like playing the drums he's got some hitting the triangle you know going hard at it and it's just this guy is off his rocker like this guy has clearly been alone for too long and has went completely whack job insane and daryl's like this was a waste of my time let's get the hell out of here and uh you know they leave terry alone with his little orchestra of zombies and then they get back outside and uh you know daryl kills this walker that's approaching laurent in the buggy and he's like listen we've done it your way we've done it this you know i know people way we're gonna do it my way you know i've i've had 11 seasons of a tv show to get things done we're gonna do things my way and they head to paris and that's you know that's kind of like where the show's takes place you know we've kind of been dilly dallying in other locations but now we're officially in Paris and things get interesting pretty quick because we get introduced to this new group this new community that kind of reminds me of Lawrence Fishburne's community in like the John Wick films like the the patriarch of this uh facility kind of reminds me of him there's like a pigeon guy that sends out messages that reminds me of him like it felt kind of similar and you know there's like i think they said there's like 64 people living in this community as they just had a baby girl born there and uh the matriarch was cool i think he said his name was uh oh man what did he say his name was i can't even remember but it was a cool name like it wasn't just a normal joe schmo name it was a cool name and i can't remember what it is that's really upsetting i wish i remembered what it was but uh you know he's like yeah you guys can hang here he's like and i and i know someone that can help you because daryl's like listen these pigeons are not gonna cut it i can't wait a month you know to get a message out there i gotta get going i gotta get back to america i got you know i got judith and rick jr to take care of and uh so the guy leads them under the catacombs of Paris, which was cool to see because I've always been fascinated by that. And uh, they end up in this nightclub. And, of course, uh, if if this is her name, Isabella, the blonde nun, uh, you know, is getting, like, some flashbacks. Because as we, as we saw in the last episode, she was a party girl, you know. She partied. She did crazy stuff. And, of course, before they go to the nightclub, Daryl or she takes Daryl back to where she lived before. And uh, we get, you know, we get a picture of her sister, Lorenz's mom, and she's like, hey, I got some things to barter. And she lifts up the fireplace, and there's just this big old bag of drugs and watches and stuff like that sh that she stole back in the day, as we saw in episode two. So that's what they're using in this nightclub, of course. And she gives Laurent the picture of his mom, which he really enjoys. So uh, they go to this club, and, you know, there's dancing, there's singing. Like, it looks like a for real nightclub. Like, you wouldn't even know there's a zombie apocalypse going on outside. And then, uh, you know, things... Things quickly go downhill because these guys are trying to scam Daryl a little bit. They pull a knife on Daryl. So Daryl knocks this dude out. Looks like, you know, malnourished Eminem. Knocks him out. And then it's revealed that that douchebag that the the nun left at the gas station because he wanted to abandon the pregnant sister last episode is still alive and he's in charge of running this nightclub. So he comes over. He's like, what's going on? Kind of enforces his power takes Daryl and Isabella up to his office to chat about possibly getting Daryl a radio or some sort of communication while the other ones like uh, are getting Laurent out of there because the sister has a fishy feeling things are about to go south and she's correct because the guy does not really want to help them he's like listen 
I'll help you, but you're going to give me Laurent, because plot twist, I'm his father. Me and your sister had a one-night stand. It was a big mistake, but that's my kid, and every kid deserves to know his dad. So Daryl's like, nah, fuck this guy. Let's get out of here. It pisses the nun off, and uh, but they all get out of there. They go back to the uh, community, and then the bad guys which we do get more bad guy stuff. We get to see the main bad guy and the head honcho guy, uh, you know, show up to the club and they're like, hey, where's the American? I know where he's at. And, you know, the douchebag being the douchebag tells them exactly where they are and uh, they invade the community. And then, uh, you know, Daryl and the nun get into an argument. Laurent finds out a little bit more about who he is gets mad at them, he takes off, runs off on his own while these people are attacking, and uh, Daryl and the big guy get into a scuffle, and it, it ends well, Daryl kicks his ass pretty convincingly, but then, you know, his guys show up and start shooting at Daryl, Daryl does escape from them, but then he crashes through the floor, like, in through a ceiling, and that's kind of where we end off, like, the nun is looking for Laurent, Laurent is off on his own, running away, the nun's on her own, we're not sure where the other nun is, she's off with that dude she likes, probably, you know, you know, praising the Lord, if you know what I'm saying, and, uh, Daryl is just falling through ceiling, so, uh, you know, things don't look good for our group by the end of episode three, but I gotta say, I think this was my favorite episode yet, the action was there, the atmosphere was there, the acting was superb, the music was really good, I just, I really like Dead City. I thought Dead City was a really good show, but if Daryl Dixon can keep up the pace that it's had in the first three episodes, it's definitely going to surpass it for me. I've loved this show so far. I can't wait for the next week. The preview makes it look like next week is going to be like shit hitting the fan times 10, so I can't wait for that. But what did you guys think of this week's episode of Daryl Dixon? I thought it was great, my favorite episode yet, so let's chat about this episode down in the comments below. Thank you for your support on these Daryl Dixon recaps. We're definitely going to keep them going as the show continues forward. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys right here next time.